The mission of the National Park Service states that we preserve unimpaired the natural and cultural resources and values of the national park system for the enjoyment, education, and inspiration of this and future generations. So what does that mean for MPS museums? It means the collections of the MPS preserves and cares for objects and archives that encapsulate the peoples, cultures, landscapes, resources, and events that have shaped American history. As one of the largest museum systems in the world, the MPS collection contains a wide range of material that encapsulate the American experience. Hello, I'm Ranger Amanda, and I'm the seasonal museum technician here at Zion National Park. One of the great things about MPS museum collections is that we have a little bit of everything. I can go from handling pinned insects to a turn of the century saddle. It's one of the unique joys of my job. We're here in the Zion Human History Museum where we have some of our objects on display. Unfortunately, due to the scope and size of our collection, almost everything we care for is in storage. So I'm going to be taking you on a behind the scenes tour of our museum collection today. I love art. It's a passion of mine. So I'm gonna be focusing in on some of the works of art in our collection. Welcome to the museum storage. This is where we house Zion's collection. We also care for Cedar Breaks National Monuments and Bryce Canyon National Parks. One of the interesting things about the art collection is that we have works that span before the park was created to contemporary works of art created by artists today. One of my favorite pieces from the art collection is this set of prints created by Thomas Moran during his 1873 expedition with Powell. While Moran is an artist known primarily for his paintings, his drawings and etchings are incredible works of art in their own right. Because he was an illustrator for Scribner's Magazine, works like these are what brought his art to the awareness of the American public. He is now known as one of the great 19th century American artists who came out west to create works that idealize and romanticize this part of the country. Artists of the 19th century were employed by companies to promote tourism, by governments to do surveys. So when they came out west, they were really painting and seeing a new landscape. They sort of idealize and romanticize the scale and unused beauty of the Western frontier. And that was brought back to the East Coast Americans who saw a country that they had never seen before. And that is really how Western expansion became a part of the American experience. Many of these trips would go through lands that would become national parks. Parks like Yosemite, Yellowstone, Grand Canyon, and the Rocky Mountains had artists like Moran and Albert Bierstadt. Here at Zion, we had Moran, but we also had Howard Russell Butler. Butler was a little later than the others, whereas they were working in the mid to late 1800s, Butler was an early 20th century artist. In 1926, he was commissioned by the Union Pacific Railroad to paint landscapes that would promote their Grand Circle Tour. This tour included Cedar Breaks, Zion, the Grand Canyon, and Bryce. These are the paintings that resulted from that commission. These paintings were exhibited at the American Museum of Natural History in New York before they were relocated in 1929 to the Museum of Science in Buffalo. Eventually, that museum kindly donated them to Zion National Park in the early 2000s. In addition to the historic paintings, we have some contemporary works of art as well. One of our newer pieces is this watercolor by Suze Wolf. Wolf is an American artist from the Pacific Northwest. This piece came from her 2012 artist in residency here at Zion National Park. It is titled Partial Scar. If you have ever hiked some of the wilderness of Zion, you've seen the remains of forest fires and the effect on the landscape. It was actually purchased by our partner Zion Forever Project and then graciously donated to the park. 
I hope you've enjoyed our brief tour and thank you.